Good afternoon, PY. We hope you've had a good week. Um, I just want to say, firstly, thank you to all the students who have completed um, the online distance learning survey. It's great to see the results and to see that so many of you are enjoying the work set by your teachers, um, as well as a, a vast amount of you are able to um, uh, keep up with the amount of work as well online, so that's great. And for those of you who are finding a challenge, do not worry. Please just contact your class teacher and they'll be happy to support and help you. We're coming close to the end of term PY and hasn't time just flown by? It is unusual times for all of us and everyone is trying to adapt to the situation in their own way. This has resulted in new ideas and many of which which we'll take with us when school reopens uh, for example, instead of handing out worksheets for homework, things will be done and set and signed online through Microsoft Teams or in Seesaw, which I think is a real bonus. However, it's also brought with it challenges, um, from which I'm sure there are many lessons that can be learned. It has also given us very special moments. Favourite moments from this lockdown. Stories that will carry with us memories into the future. So in today's assembly you will be hearing from your class teachers as they tell you their experiences of their distance learning diaries. Good morning children. It's been quite a while since I touched base with you so I thought this was an excellent opportunity. The novel coronavirus has changed the world overnight. With countries going into lockdown Human beings are being tested in ways we could never have imagined possible. Little did I think that I would be contributing to a virtual assembly. Initially, I missed the hustle bustle of school. I miss seeing you all. But very soon, I was able to see all of you in your virtual classes. Once in a while, a student in a virtual class will say, Miss, who is P? And the teacher usually says, don't let that disturb you. It must be Miss Sangeeta or Miss Emily. I've learned many things in the quiet mornings as I sipped a cup of tea. I saw birds that I hadn't seen in a while. Birds like kagoos, parrots, robins, egrets, enjoying the gardens as much as we humans do. There have been many snake sightings in our community. They're only reclaiming the land that we have taken away from them. I hope you find the time to look around you and discover things you haven't seen before. One of the things that impresses me most is the kindness people have shown to others. People in the community getting food packets ready for those who need it, be it humans or animals. I hope in your own small way, you will take time to be kind to someone. I hope to connect with you again next week. Until then, stay safe and stay well. Hello PY, this is all about distance learning. Best part, safe travel time to school. Challenges, technology and long hours in front of the screen. My experience on distance learning was like a roller coaster ride. Up and down, up and down. But I must say, I'm enjoying this ride. I hope you're enjoying it too. It provided a much needed social interaction while stuck at home. It kept us connected. I could see my children's happy faces back again. On my first day, I was very nervous because I had more than 10 pairs of eyes watching me. It was challenging to keep children's attention, but as weeks rolled, things got better. Children's positive attitude towards learning, their willingness to sit through a lesson, parents' input and strong relationship helped me hold the class together. As I am back on weeks of distance teaching, I feel more confident and I see each day as an opportunity to learn something new. Distance learning means school times are a lot shorter, but you all can use it to the maximum by figuring out something that you love and find out more about it. It need not always be your teachers teaching them to you. So learn something new every day. Have fun and be silly despite all of the craziness that's going on on the outside. So work through the stress by creating. Learning new skills from a challenging situation and getting used to the new form of learning was quite challenging in the beginning. 
But once I got used to it, everything seems so easy. Of course, I cannot compare it with the classroom situation and learning, but distance learning has helped in continuing learning and setting class routines. It's a pleasurable sight to see all the enthusiastic faces waiting for the teachers to say hello to them and to learn something new. The best part of distance learning at the moment is having the children for our live sessions. You won't believe they are there even before us and that feels so good. And their happy faces in the morning makes our day. I just pray this, all, this horrible days end and we all get back to normal life. I've learned to be patient, especially with all the network problems and the electricity tripping. I've learned a lot. It feels good. I'm enjoying it. But I wouldn't want this to continue. Thank you. Namaste, I'm Pratima Shukla, your Hindi I hope that you will be fine. I found the best part of distance learning that student accuracy on giving answer is increased because they are getting more time for self-study. My best moment was to meet kids after a long time. I observed the same spark for learning on them. Initially, the start of virtual teaching was the challenge. One special thing I want to share with you, my hearing power is increased because sometimes you will not see students on screen but recognize them with their voice. Dhanyawa, Swarchit Rai. My distance learning diary? Well, I have learned to use technology more effectively and it is because it is because of this technology that I can see my children every day, even during this lockdown period. Thanks to Teams. Hi everyone. I think we all find ourselves in a situation we never imagined to be in and the best part has been seeing how everyone has risen to the occasion and adapted to a new way of life, especially the little ones who come to the virtual lessons every morning with a big smile on their face, even though they've had hard days. But it's heartwarming to see how the parents have supported their children. And I hope that we can all stay strong and see the situation through. The best thing about this distance learning is that I get to see all you children every day and it always puts a smile on my face to get to see you early in the morning even though we're all stuck at home. Uh, the challenging bit has mostly been trying to get used to all the different platforms and not being able to help you uh, when you need help. Uh, like we could in school and my favorite part is getting to see all your assignments and submissions. You surprise me every day. It doesn't matter if there is a screen in between us. Your presence is wonderful to make you not to mute me. That is almost impossible and of course to make you not to keep the writing in the meeting chat. One of my favorite moments is when suddenly I open them, I open Teams, and some of the students have a background, very very nice background. It, it seems they are in the beach, or it seems they are in, in, a, in a school. So I was super surprised. So I said, guys, how do you do that? And they were, you were teaching me. So I love that moment. But the best thing that I have learned is that all of us, you guys and we teachers, despite the situation, it doesn't matter how the situation it is, we, we have to and we can give the best of ourselves. Bye bye, merci beaucoup, take care. Hello PY, the best thing about this online learning is the fact that in spite of the lockdown, we see you so close every day challenge well it's the online the connectivity issues most of the times and my favorite moment well it's moments every time in morning when you are already set to perform with a lovely smile and greeting miss Tiasha. and what did i learn nothing is impossible you set your mind you can do it bye Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that I'd miss being in school. But I do. I miss the crazy noise and the warm hugs. I miss being called a thousand times and I miss being pulled from all directions. But you know what? Times have changed and we have adapted well. 
now i'm getting virtual hugs and high fives the children are so spontaneous and honest in their reactions it's nice to see them in their usual best and their warm smiles brighten my day when i click on the join button i'm transported from a quiet room in my house into a new world with my children filled with chitter chatter laughter and happiness but i do long for those warm hugs and tugs Hello Pivai my most favorite part of the online learning has been the stories that you share with me about how you have been and about how easy or difficult your music assignments are and also your experiences with the lesson i think your stories are very interesting and lovely Hello everyone during these strange times when distance learning has become the new normal lost the fear of using technology and i have realized that i am a lifelong learner the most challenging part of distance learning is to reinforce a concept in the minds of children who need support and i feel the best part about the distance learning is that it provides flexibility and prevents hectic commute Bye. Hi everybody, Ms. Reshma here. The best thing about distance learning for me was to be able to reconnect with all my students, with the other teachers, uh, with everybody else in the TISB family and carry on with the learning goals in these difficult times. Challenges for me were and still are technical difficulties, time management, those 40 minutes in really short at times, and lack of opportunities for collaborative tasks. Uh, my favorite moments are when some students respond to their feedback, redo their activities, and say, "Now I have got it, Miss." And distance learning has honestly uh, made me reformulate my teaching style, uh, going further, simpler with my instructions, reducing teacher talk to make more. Uh, opportunities for increased student interaction to compensate for the collaborative activities that we so many Hello little ones. I think for me that the best thing has been having the chance to learn so much new stuff over the past couple of months. I have had to learn new softwares, I have had to learn how to create content differently for you and I feel like I've grown a lot as a teacher. Um, surprisingly, the most challenging thing for me has also been not being in the classroom and having to learn all of this new stuff. Uh, none of us, none of the teachers are trained to do this, to teach you from far away, to not be close to you and be able to help you when you need help. And so I think that has been one of the most challenging things as well. We miss you so much and we cannot wait to see you again. Take care, stay safe. Distance learning has enabled us to learn and use different online learning platforms that we would have not been exposed to in normal school settings. The most challenging part of distance learning are connectivity issues. There are many moments that I look back on and smile. The cheery morning greetings from the student, the long stretch goodbyes after every session, to the jokes and riddles the children share and their antics during class. What amazed me most about all is how easily they have adapted to the new method of learning and how they are always one step ahead of us in the use of technology. My experience with distance learning has taught me to persist and persevere despite connectivity issues, to plan lessons to cater to the level of the group and to allocate and organize my time effectively. Bonjour tout le monde. The best aspect of distance learning is that it still keeps us together and we are learning new things every day. And believe me as teachers, I am learning new things along with you. New things about technology and resources and about my own subject. And I am happy to see that you students, you are also learning and that will be lot. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. The best thing about distance learning is that I am able to record my own uh, live synchronous classes, which in turn I am able to share with my students just in case they miss out on my live classes. Personally, it is also quite uh, helpful uh, as I can always refer my own videos for my own self-reflection. I think uh, the most challenging part of uh, distance learning is that it entails uh, absence of real classroom environment. 
uh, which means there can be possibility of less one-on-one -on -one support for children. I would say it's not easy to teach online. Uh, I think you have to be well prepared every day. Uh, it's it's easier said than done. So uh, you know it can test you you know every day in terms of your technological skills. Uh, you know how how well prepared you are. Uh, how you're able to multitask between different you know tools. So yeah, it, it is it is it's it is challenging. You know uh, so. Yeah, so overall this has been my experience. Thank you very much. It has helped us stay connected and help us continue with teaching and learning despite the lockdown. And all my students who have always loved iPads, laptops, iPhones are really enjoying it. Teaching electricity online has been the most challenging thing for me. We did work around it finally, thanks to a lot of students who came forward, volunteered and took up their live session. Watching my children uh, when uh, one morning suddenly we could see nine faces on screen instead of four on Microsoft Teams. They were all surprised and shocked and I love to see their faces. My learning has been huge. Uh, overnight, we had to transition on to online learning, but thanks to the pandemic and this system, we are extremely supportive, uh, who helped us a lot in this process and it's been really very difficult, but learning has been absolutely huge. And in the past few weeks, I've done a couple of things that I've never done in my life, and I'm sure the learning will continue in the coming days, weeks and months. Learning never stops and we are always open to learning. Thank you. Bye. I've, I've really, really learned, honestly, how resilient and strong the kids in my class are. Um, despite this really weird time in our, in our history, in our lives, they're all, you know, adapting to it so well, so brilliantly, um, and being amazing role models and, and, you know, turning up all the time logging on with huge smiles on their faces, getting on with the work even though it's, it's challenging. Um, and they've all been so kind and supportive and, and supportive not just to each other but to us teachers as well. They've, you know, they've brightened my day certainly. Um, they, make, they make it feel like my life has a real meaning and uh, I love them for it. The best thing about the distance learning was it created the necessity to explore new teaching methodologies and trying out things out of our comfort zone. For me also, it was a learning experience. I kept on trying, exploring new ways how to make my teaching interesting and how to help children learn the things better. My proud moment and the best moment was when my children, they dressed up as the most popular and powerful leaders in the world, which they studied in their social studies lesson. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I have learned a lot. I think the most challenging part of the home learning is how to sustain students' attention all throughout the 40 minutes class online. It's very important that everyone gets involved. But to be appreciated also is one favorite moment I have in, in, in this process. Yesterday I received a pencil drawing portrait of myself as a token of appreciation from one student. It's, it's, it's feel, it feels good and it's inspiring to go ahead and continue to enjoy the process. Hello everybody. Um, I think teaching remotely for several weeks now and I must say I'm really thankful for all the positivity that my students bring into my classes. Uh, they're kind, uh, understanding and caring, especially during our own moments. They're there for one another, one another supporting and encouraging. Um, for me, the challenge will always continue to be uh, how to engage my students uniquely and finally I'd like to say uh, that we're all learning together even when we're apart. Thank you. For me, the best thing about distance learning has been that I haven't had to drive on the dusty roads of Bangalore to get to work each day. Uh, for me, the most challenging part has been that I haven't had 
all of the fantastic energy of my students to uh, help me through each of the school days to be able to see your faces in real life. My favorite moment was right after we had finally gotten our home learning program up and running and I finally got to see all of my beautiful students' faces on the screen again. And what I have learned from the experience is that all of my students are so resilient to the challenges that happen to us in our life and I've been so impressed by, how, by their ability to take on these challenges and really uh, tackle them head on and still embrace the home learning lifestyle. So well done. Bye viewers. I'm amazed how the students and the teachers have adapted to this new and sudden transition to remote learning. Uh, what I, I appreciate the most is uh, the way students have come forward uh, to help their um, friends, uh, the other class uh, students, um, to uh, understand the features and usage of the new learning platform. Yeah, we do have uh, limitations, we do have challenges, but uh, the end result has been great. Uh, children are happy, they love to interact with the other students and they love to interact with the teachers. And I think in this bar game, um, I have developed my technical skills further and uh, it's a kind of personal and professional uh, development. Um, and at this point, during the lockdown with COVID around, I don't think we could have asked for more. So it's been a roller coaster experience but an educational one too. Miss Natasha has got a lot friendlier with her laptop, very comfortable using it now. However, some minor irritants like the internet going off. But most of all, I miss most of you. I miss school, I miss my friends. I miss everything about school actually. I'm waiting for all this to be over as I'm sure we all are. Uh, my favorite moment, saying good morning to 4A and 4B during the registration sessions. And of course, listening to your questions at the end of the day and having a laugh with all of you. It's been an interesting experience. Take care, everybody, and keep learning. Bye. So what is my takeaway from distance learning? It has been my support group. There has been a dramatic improvement in their learning. Their focus has improved and it reflects in their tasks. It reflects in their assignments. Um, I can think of only one reason why this could be happening and um, that is uh, they have less distraction at home and probably that is helping them to focus better and to perform better. Thank you. Hello everyone. This has been a new experience for me but I'm happy that I'm able to see you, interact with you, crack jokes with you and even laugh with you. Then what's my problem? Well, I'm not able to be there physically to give a pat on your back when you do your work well. But so what? You know, in a bigger picture, we are very lucky. We are lucky that our learning is continued, undisturbed from the comfort of our homes. On that positive note, I like to say all the best and goodbye. Hi, uh, the best thing about uh, distance learning is that uh, I can teach from the comfort of my house. The challenging part is to scale down to um, the internet speed and I keep clicking on the screen and the students are not able to see sometimes. The uh, favorite moment is to try and explore new ways of teaching and the learning is to, um, uh, I mean we have to keep pushing our limits and uh, we have to adapt to uh, changing conditions. Thank you. The best thing about distance learning is that it has enabled us to move forward in our learning experience during this lockdown situation. The most challenging part about distance learning is when there is a limited possibility for teacher-student interaction due to network issues. My favorite moments have been whenever my students respond enthusiastically with creative answers. This experience reinforces the idea that learning and fun does not stop even during uh, such situations. Before lockdown, work from home. Sorry, I'm a teacher. That option does not apply to me. After lockdown, whoa, I am a work from home teacher. Never did I even dream that my students can learn so much from the comfort of their homes. As with everything else, challenges exist. 
technical glitches, distractions from surroundings, you know, developing independence as a learner and adapting to new conditions. It's not easy. Surprises? Yes, they have been. Like some of my students have done a 180 degree turn uh, on their learning for the better on the distance learning platform. My takeaway from this, life never stops surprising you. So be ready, be adaptable, keep the learning going. I get to see my students and I get to teach. I think that's the best thing about it uh, given the circumstances right now. I have a lot of kids with connectivity issues and I'm like 10th minute, 15 minutes into the lesson and they're like, Miss, I just got disconnected. Can you explain again? Uh, which is when I would have just finished explaining. So that's definitely one issue. I can't see all the children. So at times I can just hear a crunching sound. And I'm like, you're eating. Where are you? What are you doing? And uh, it gets pretty challenging. My learning from the entire thing, I think it's important to take one day at a time and make the most of it. Thank you. The best part of distance learning was that the children being native to technology picked up really fast. The difficulty that I faced was teaching without whiteboard, markers, the children not being physically present in the classroom, and the loads of preparation that has to be done before taking a lesson online. The best thing about distance learning is, as uh, we are doing pre-recorded -pre classes, so we can do number of takes and retakes and make our class the best for our students. The most challenging aspect, I feel, uh, PE is mostly do done outdoors and uh, now we have to prepare our lessons keeping in mind uh, the home atmosphere and uh, the limited resources that the students will have. We in PE department have uh, collaborated and uh, prepared many videos on warm-up and main activity. Uh, this has given us opportunity to exchange ideas and come out with good team. Uh, this unusual situation has uh, given us an opportunity to uh, learn different technological benefits. Hello PUI, uh, Ms. Sheba is going to be playing uh, the song. Um, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands, so do join me. Here it goes. If you're happy. Wow, I found that really interesting. I hope you enjoyed hearing from your teachers and their experiences just as much as I did. So PY, your task for this week is to tell your teachers your experiences from your distance learning diaries. In Seesaw, I have written three questions that I would like you to answer. You can either answer it on our Padlet page or if you would like to send us a video, you can upload it into Seesaw. Okay guys, and that's it for this week's assembly. No? Why, what have I, what have I forgotten? Oh, how could I forget that? Over to Miss Alyssa with this week's house points. Hi PY, I'm back again with this week's house points as well as my small friend. So, in fourth place with 2,996 points, we have Pioneers. Well done, Pioneers. In third place, with 3,208 points, Discoverers. Well done, Discoverers. In second place, with 3,312 points, Explorers. Well done, Explorers. And finally, in first place, with 3,470 points, Voyagers! Well done, Voyagers! So pleased. Again, you've come in first place, Voyagers. However, Explorers are not far behind you. So Explorers, maybe you can work extra hard next week to try and catch up to them. Okay, bye PY! Thank you, Miss Alyssa. And well done, students, for this week's House Points. Keep up the good work. 
Uh, we've only got three weeks left of term, so I want you to continue to be working hard. I want you to continue listening to your teacher and trying your very best with the work that's, that's assigned online. Before we go, I would like to leave you with the answers from last week's question from our Padlet page. Have a lovely weekend. Goodbye, PY. Bye Penny the Penguin and bye P.Y. Bye P.Y. Bye P.Y. <laughs> <laughs>